Up next, ladies and gentlemen, hailing from the Bronx, New York, we have an entertainer, we have a filmmaker, an educator, and he's also an artist. Make some noise and recognize one time for my man, Intercontinental. Or he about to bust a freestyle for me. Oh, I don't know. You about to bust a freestyle for me, right? Because they better recognize. Okay. Let's go. Let me hear something real quick. All right. When I say Inti, y'all say Kana. Inti? Kana. Inti? Kana. That's my name, so we introduce. Right. Hey yo, never will I give up. Defense with my chin tuck, breaking down the doors, dog, going for the big pups. Free them on the island. Look at how they took us. No diamonds on my neck, nah, just diamond push ups. 50 in the clip, yep. Inspiration push it. 5 0 in the bushes. They don't give us books, they book us. Yeah, the popo's crooked, but y'all already knew that. Cruise clash with they bootstrap when the news flash. I'm a cruise pass, cause they bragging lack substance. Seinfeld flow, cause they yapping about nothing. Shout outs to my haters in the racist Kramers. All the agents in the undercovers bottling the anger. Alkaline venom, most styles like mine dead em. A thousand fly lines and miles of rhyme heaven. Breaking these bones, I'm taking them out. Claiming the throne, they playing around. Been patient, I'm just thinking aloud. Meditating on changing a route. Making paper in major amounts. Checking savers and baking accounts. Raising the credit, then making the edit. Dead in the debt, debit the rest. Set up the chest, shut up and just pull up a desk. Earn success, aiming the scouts, laying them down. Taking the crown, learn from the best with a pen in the pad. I'm like piff in the bag. Quarter brick, full pound, four fifth with the mag. Fully loaded, semi automatic lyrics that zag and leave right across your chest like the Dominican flag. And Bars. Not one curse. Bars. Word. Not one curse. Bars. Word at Bars. All. Woo. That's Come it. on. Y'all can be loud. One, that. one more round of applause. Thank Bars. Recognize. You can have a seat, Woo. baby. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Thank you. Well, listen, how you breathe during all that? Because I think I would have passed out. I got <laughs> asthma. I don't know if I would have made it through. <laughs> Running, running, no. running, running, <laughs> running. Well, listen, how long you been doing this? Obviously, that's the question I want to start with. I started when I was 12. I mm -hmm. started rhyming. I started writing. I started with battling, a lot of battles and stuff. And I learned about just different forms of writing, mm -hmm. from poetry, from theater, mm. to like script writing, film stuff. And I kind of put it all together to express myself, whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm feeling on a particular theme. Um, I teach. I work in the schools. So I help nice. young people and other people as well just express themselves mm -hmm. and, and tell their story. So when it comes to battle, battling, freestyling, and writing, which one you prefer? Man, um, I heard writing over there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I writing, I, I love, I explain what I feel about maybe each of them. Writing, I really enjoy the price, the process of being very specific mm -hmm. and making sure exactly what I want to say is said. Okay. Uh, freestyle, I love the improvisation of it. You know, um, I actually did a competition some years ago and I won a national championship in, in yes. freestyle, which was called End of the Week. Just clap it up, please. If y'all check it out, yes. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really dope organization movement mm -hmm. uh, for MC. So I'm actually in this year's competition. Yes. And they flew me out to Uganda in Africa what? to compete with seven what? countries around the world. What? Nice. I didn't even know they was doing freestyles yeah. out in Africa, okay? Yeah, now, yeah. Now, and, well, and, well, on a quick note, Africa is really popping. I just, mm -hmm. yes, I just got back yes. from Johannesburg. I did a festival yeah. in Johannesburg. They're not it's playing. Called back they to are the not playing. Hip-hop is real hip-hop. Yes, yes. Not the commercialized stuff that's forced down your throat on radio now. He said I'm our roots. Real hip-hop is, 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 is living and it's vibrant mm -hmm. in Africa. Yes, that's a fact. And yes. when it comes to battling, you know, battling could be really intense. Like, how did you make it through all that? Boy, I be seeing some of these rap battles. Woo. Yeah, no, it is very intense. When I grew up, I mean, growing up in the Bronx, I'm sure different people here or maybe people watching mm -hmm. experience a lot of stuff growing up. And for me, you know, I may not be the tallest individual in the room. Hey. Uh, so I had to fight a lot. There was a lot of, like, fights that I had to do. And luckily, I knew martial arts. I defend myself. Uh, but at some point when it came to... Oh, what, what don't be, you do? Sheesh. When it came, Well, you know. No, I yeah, got a little something. <laughs> but basically, it, it was an outlet for me to defend myself. So, mm -hmm. like, people would come up in the class and say something, and I roast them in front of everybody, and then people would step back a little bit. Right. Uh, so, you know, that helped. And then, you know, I, I started doing it around the city, going to other high schools, and then, you know, I just found different forms of competition mm -hmm. to do that. And music-wise, sometimes when people um, do freestyling and battling, they get caught up in the world of just that. And when they come to, like, just wanting to make a mixtape, an EP, an album, it's like it's not what they say is radio-ready. 
How do you feel about that? Well, I how was your transition from? I think when I was just writing for the acapella cipher, mm -hmm. it, 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 I, I loved it. I loved the vibration that everyone brings to the circle. So I, I would write to be able to connect everyone, which I still do. The song now, like for example, I'm working on an album, yes. which is now done, and I'm going to release it in the next few weeks. I'm doing the screening for the first music video. Mm. Uh, it's called Keep Shining. Mm. It uh, features Chris Rivers, yes. uh, features nice. Nini Ali, oh and Maya Asusena. And, yes. and the album. Wow, I used Jeez. to produce Maya. We'll talk about that. Really? Later. Well, Ralph Cooper from the Apollo linked oh, me and Maya, wow, wow, as wow. we saying, uh, you know, years ago. Yeah, she's yes. amazing. She's amazing. amazing. Beyond Grammy amazing. Grammy Award winning. She's yes. official. She's incredible. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, tell us, since you segued into that, tell us a little bit more about Alkaline Venom. So yes. Yeah, I want to know the name, name please. Name Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so Alkaline is, is what we need. And a lot of times what we need is not convenient or Salute fun. Salute to Dr. Sabi. And, and yes, you Rest know, peace. My, yep. my RP Dr. Sabi. Yep. And, you know, uh, the venom is, is, is the harsh. So you got the good and you got the really intense. And for me, you know, I, I worked on five years for working on this album specifically. And it felt like vomiting. It felt like vomiting a lot of life experiences, a lot of emotions, a lot of things that I had to say. And it was all with the goal of getting better, of healing, yeah. you know, of being able to be a better version of myself and be able to commit myself to being the best me that I could be in this world. Yes. And, you know, it's not easy. And mm. truth is not easy. You know, lies can be comfortable to live in, but when mm. you remove all the layers and you have what actually is right in front of you and you can't avoid it, it it's, it's tough. So mm. that's what the project is. It's like raw truth that's not easy but it's there well you taking me to church right now i'm yeah. definitely here you i'm ready to praise all right it's like, <laughs> it's like tough love but, but yeah the lyrical yeah. version of it and, and it's funny you say that because i didn't know it was about love mm -hmm. until yeah. i finished it after i finished right. the album i was like this well album it's about, about it's about what's in your heart yeah and you, you, yes. can, you can obviously yes. look at you and your aura just says you spews that you're filled with love Thank so you, you might have went through some things that might have mm -hmm. you know gave you the the anger for the moment but your true being is love Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, that. speaking of love, I need a hug. Aww. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're speaking all this love and his energy. Don't get jealous. I'm, I'm jealous. Oh, I get out of here. We'll hug you later, brother. All right. <laughs> so, so what's your expectations of, of the whole album? You know, it's, it's so bugged out. I've been talking to a number of people. You know, I, I sat down, have different meetings. On, now that the project is done, I feel like I climbed this mountain. I got to this point, but it's not done. You know, now it's like presenting, promoting, marketing, getting out there. And even when I started the album, the industry has changed even since five years and ago. And you said five years ago. I say, so how have right. it changed from five years ago, even down to the music, the style? So, you know, I guess uh, revenue streams have changed for people. And mm -hmm. it's also redirected where people go. And, you know, a lot of it is online. A lot of it's digital. Um, you know, I used to take time to curate my events and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm realizing, you know, a lot of people are... Online, they're not even in the physical yes, form. Like we they're were not just speaking about that. Much. Yeah. So you know, I, I felt so I was talking to Lumumba yesterday, an incredible activist, mm -hmm. and he he was from, he was quoting X Clan. Uh, no, no, no. He's a he he, he oh. works with political prisoners. Oh, okay, okay. Um, he does like you know mm -hmm. he just helped free Sekou Odinga and mm -hmm. some really incredible uh, mm -hmm. political prisoners. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him yesterday, and he was bringing up uh, uh, something that DJ Jazzy Jeff said, and he was saying that we need to die empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, get all our mm. dreams out. Right. You know, he said, sometimes right. when we die, we die. We're hold, holding so much. And yes. I've been hoarding yes. my own creative art mm. because I, I'm so worried and nervous. Like, how are people going to receive it? Is it the right time? Uh, I need the right platform. Nah, it's not big enough. I need to supersede my own expectations. Yes. And then I feel pressure that I put on myself. Yeah. And just that peace of mind, just letting it go, I'm going to let it go. How Everywhere. many tracks is on the album? Mm -hmm. Ten. 10. You know what? That's reasonable. All right? Because some of these be having 16, 18. I'm like, yeah. Jesus. I was go I, every time. I, I, I was up to 20 some. Oh, God. And, and the producer, we kept going down. And then right. somebody was like, get it to 12. And we got it to 12. And then at the last second, two tracks got cut out. And it's just the best of what we've done in five years. But all on, you know. What's one of your favorite tracks on it? Can you speak on it? <sighs> one of my favorite tracks. Uh, oh, what are you pushing right now? 
Well, the, the Chris Rivers joint, you know, we're pushing mm -hmm. that out. Uh, I, the next video I would love to be is I did a song with Keith Murray. Yes. And that track Shout is out to my crazy. Death Squad family. Yo, here you go. Yo, Keith you know, Death Squad, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's, that's love, man. That's real because Keith, Keith Murray's a real dude. And, you know, yeah, I know realist. there's so many even yeah. incredible people in the room that are paying attention. So I love the energy. Uh, but, yeah, he, 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 he proposed doing a video because the song we were both feeling. Mm -hmm. So that's something. I, I, it's called Knock Knock. You know, actually, that verse, that first verse, I switched from this from that song. Nice. Uh, and uh, there's a song I did with Stick of Dead Prez, okay. which is, uh, you know, I'm really happy about that. He, it also features one of my favorite artists. He's a roots reggae artist. His name is Akia Becca. Yes. He has a band called Midnight, really dope. We got musicians. So, you know, that's a big track. That one, uh, no, not enough people have heard that. We've been keeping it very low key. Okay, keep it uh, low key. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to put it out. It's time, it's time to let go of everything. Um, who, who else? Uh, Murder Mook. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the yes, battle world. Yes, yes. Great guy, track. great guy. Uh, we have a track called You Tech got some Run. heavy hitters on your um, feet. What? Yeah, wow. and, and you know what's crazy? It's, it's, it's really, and I'm very grateful, it's been years of just doing work and then building and meeting and linking and being unafraid. Mm -hmm. I had some people who passed away, and those experiences really taught me, like, just a lot about not being afraid. Like yes. When you meet someone, for some reason, you might think, oh, I'm not important enough to go build and talk to someone. Like, nah, like, if someone's real, they're going to build with you. We're all human. You know what I'm saying? And I started just realizing that. I was like, and I only want to build with people who have that vibration. You know, yes. I, I've seen a lot of things and gotten in different places, and it's not what I want to be around, so mm -hmm. I make sure I look for what is healthy. Well, let's speak about how you're giving back to your community. I know you have, you know, educator. Yeah. yeah, so I, I do work in the prisons and uh, youth jails and the group homes and the shelters. Mm. And we get young people who, you know, are dealing with a lot of things yes. to tell the story but realize how valuable the experiences are and mm. how they can shape and transform them. And give them examples. Like so anyone they probably believe in or look up to has been through something rough growing up. Yes. So try to give them examples. We go through history. I teach them about who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, going back to the motherland, to ancient times and history and Caribbean, South America, Africa. I learn about where they're at if I don't know, you know, and I'm always learning as well. Um, well, even when, even in the prisons? Yeah, not, yeah, of course. I mean, people got, like, even, you know, it's, you know what I've learned? Uh, so I've traveled through the crevices of, like, consciousness and mm. communities, you know, stuff like that. And I'm mostly inspired by people who may not speak correctly or politically correct, but speak what's on their mind. They're real. They're speaking from the heart, and you get what they're saying. They're not trying to deceive you or mm -hmm. create some wall of lies that you believe in that's not real and some facade. Like, I just like people being themselves. And, and I find that people who are just authentic, they might curse or they might, you know what I'm saying? Yes, but, you know, okay. how it is, you know, where we from. Might stuff. be a little but, aggressive. Yeah, yeah. But that don't but, intimidate you. Yeah, it's just all about energy for me. It's just good vibrations building. You well, know? you give off great energy. Now let's Thank touch you. on your filmmaking. Filmmaking, so uh, I have a lot of short films that I've done, a lot of music videos. Uh -huh. The videos that you might see on my YouTube channel, Intikana TV, are videos that I filmed and edited. And uh, it's just something I taught myself how to do out of necessity. One, so uh, you're a one-stop shop, start to finish. You just do I'm it all. I'm telling you, right? Nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I learned engineering, how to record my own music, nice, how nice. to mix it. How to film it, how to edit it, how to put it out, how to promote it, keep necessity, it e -blast. You know, like, necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. If you can't find someone to do it right, learn how to do it yourself. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, That's sir. what this man does. Yes. Make some noise for my man in the yes. corner. Yes, baby. So before we wrap it up, um, please tell the world how they can find you, follow you, and keep up with all the good stuff that you're doing. So if you're watching or if you're even here, you can go on your phone right now and go on this app called Instagram. Instagram. And <laughs> you go on the search bar. And it's spelled I-N-T-I-K-A-N-A. -A. Intikana. I-N-T-I-K-A-N-A. -A. And you can find me on Instagram. That's my name for Twitter, for Snapchat, Facebook. Everything is all Intikana. And my YouTube is Intikana TV. You can hit me up. You know, I'm always working on projects. And if y'all got things going on, maybe you need some professional filming or photography, some headshots or... You want to work on something, contact me. We'll build. You know, we're all people. We're all building. We're all, I'm sure, you're doing great things. So I'd love to connect. <clears throat> I and guess my, I'm going to be in your DM after time. this. Yeah. I'm about to be in your DM after. I think I need you. I need know, a couple of categories yeah. I need. Yeah, yeah, I, think, yeah. I think we all need a service. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's all recognize. Round of applause. Thank, Thank you so much. Antikana. Thank you so much, baby. 
You better recognize. <laughs> One more time, I'm going to get out of Anaconda. Hail it for the Bronx. Anaconda. New album. New album. Alkaline Venom. Venom. Yeah, I was going to say, you say the first one. All right. Yeah, I mean, that title itself, Alkaline Venom, is a And we'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for hanging out with us right here. And recognize, make some noise. Do remember, we will be back.